Hey, it's Vince Del Monte, and welcome back to another episode of Becoming an Entrepreneur. And today, in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia, I want to introduce you to a young man, a rising star, who's had to battle extreme adversity. And when he's faced that and combined it with a skill, a superpower, one that you have too, right underneath your nose, he's been able to build a six-figure business in under six months, and he's just getting started. This is by far one of the most inspirational stories you'll ever hear. Check it out. So I guess for me, I was bullied throughout school, and I was also always kind of portrayed as different and I always thought that it was something negative about myself that made me lesser than. I was abused by my father and it kind of put me in a place where I always had to be on guard and I always had to put my, my best foot forward and be almost perfect in a sense or else he would, he would let me know. So I started with Vince's Mastermind doing drop shipping. Um, I had my own clothing line and it kind of was a way for me to express just kind of the creativity that I had. And then all of a sudden, my mom wanted to get into something after she recently retired with her business. So I wanted to help her as much as possible and service her. Yeah, I made my first website when I was like 14 years old and it was like nuclear entertainment. It had games on it and stuff so people could go on and play. So I tried to give a crack at it for her. And the learning curve was a bit tough, but as I progressed and as the sales page kind of came to fruition, um, I was really kind of confident in what I was doing and what I was providing with her. So before August uh, of last year, we were getting hit with a lawsuit. So she was looking at getting sued for $500,000 and I was going to be taking her nest egg away. So I was a little concerned because it wasn't at the place where it could be generating enough wealth for us to keep that lifestyle that we had. So I kind of had to step into a new position where I felt like I needed to be a provider for my family. So I started looking at ways that I could help out. And when I went to the Toronto Mastermind, Vince pitched me the idea where I should be providing my services for people in the Mastermind and that he feels that I could do very well in doing so. So I did and now it's generating enough income for my entire family. Now I have my mom on staff, I have my sister on staff, I have my mom's friends on staff, and we have enough money where we can maintain that lifestyle that we have and we don't have to worry anymore. The Mastermind for me has been a perspective that I just could not see. And it's put me on a path that I would not have traveled down if it wasn't for Vince and everyone else because I, I couldn't see it from an outside perspective looking in. And that's been priceless for me. For anyone who feels like they're too different or they're not enough, or they don't have what it takes to succeed. You have to reframe that and look at it in a positive light because your differences, your experiences, although you wouldn't choose it, you shouldn't change it because it's brought you to where you are. It's given you the values and the beliefs that you need to succeed. And all you need to do is have that belief in yourself, invest in yourself, and don't give up. Tyler, I remember when you first uh, came to Toronto with your mom, I could tell you were dealing with some internal terrorists, some stuff going on underneath the hood. Would that be safe to say? Absolutely. And, and you kind of had some ideas, but not clear direction. Yeah. Yeah, I've been always kind of off on my own. And when I was introduced to a group that could help me kind of achieve my goals and, and bring everything to fruition, it was a breath of fresh air and it, it felt amazing to have the support system of, of coach and, and friends behind me. And I remember as you started your initial venture, it was moving in a very specific direction, but it, in the end, not work out. Yeah. And, and you pivoted quickly 
which is what most people aren't willing to do. Talk about that. So yeah, you have to change the direction to what's working and what's going to be working for you right now because you're going to be wasting time going in the other direction. And sometimes it's hard for you to see. Like I said before, I needed your perspective, um, an outside perspective looking in because sometimes I just couldn't see it. And that's that's where you, you, you perspective is the most valuable resource. And, and I appreciate yours so much. So if you're ready to combine your adversity and your skills and become the next rising star like Tyler, and if you're ready to get on a clear and confident path to reach more people, to have more income, more impact, and experience more independence, I want you to click the link on the page and book a discovery call today with myself or one of my coaches, and we'll come up with your next steps. We'll brainstorm together and we'll see what's possible for you. I look forward to getting on the phone with you and we're gonna make sure that you see that breakthrough that you deserve. Have a great day.